I got a drinking game. Take a shot every time Samuel L. Jackson says mother in this movie and you will have liver failure and die by the end of it. Probably like the first quarter of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Talk movies with us. Back again for another movie review. This time we just came back from seeing The Hitman's Bodyguard, starring your boy. My favorite, Ryan Reynolds, Sam Jackson, Sama Hayek, Gary Oldman, and, yeah, and some other people stars. who you will never know. So yeah, this is basically a story of Ryan Reynolds' character is a professional bodyguard. He's kind of down and out with his job and his love life things yeah. aren't going as well as planned and he gets a job having to protect samuel l jackson's character who just and... happens to be a world-renowned hitman pretty much and, and they got to get from point a to point b basically a road trip type of movie and that's pretty much and the gist of it craziness ensues from there the story gets a little convoluted overall what is it it's it's a decent watch. It's on the generic side. It's very mediocre. There's nothing like wow about it no. besides Ryan Reynolds, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's basically you know it's one of those movies. If it's ever on HBO, you'll probably pass out for like 45 minutes of it and wake up and like see explosions and things going on. I mean, it was you know the best part about this movie is. The banter between Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson, right? Yes, because everybody knows their personalities. We know Ryan Reynolds from a lot of his movies, but obviously Deadpool. Yeah. And then Sam Jackson, just the his use of mother <laughs> is is world renowned. And and he does not it disappoint. It is on steroids in this movie. <laughs> um, it, the chemistry between the two is is pretty good. It's, yeah. It's not. It's okay. You know, I mean, if it's honestly, not awful. if it wasn't for the two leads in this movie, like if you just had some generic actors, this yeah. would probably be like directed DVD. But uh, yeah, they definitely keep the movie afloat. In this movie, there are two separate love stories going on, and one of them was so forced. Yes. And yes. we won't say which one because I would love to see if other people feel the same way. Yeah. But if you've seen the movie and you know the two different love stories, let us know if you know which one we're talking about. But it's just, it was something that we really didn't need yeah. for the plot or the story. So. It was very, very forced. And we didn't really need it. And you you know, another issue with this movie is you didn't really care too much. It was kind of just things were going on. It was entertaining, just put it that way, yeah. you know? If you're looking for great character development, a great story, great CGI, this probably isn't the movie. Yeah. But it is entertaining. And it's I entertaining and there are very there are some very well done car chases and oh, yeah. some well done action sequences. I mean, I definitely enjoyed that aspect of it. Yep. Other times, I was wondering what the heck the cinematographer was thinking with some of the shots, but the car chases were fun to watch. You know, it's just yeah, been it's done before. Been done before. Times. It almost reminded me. I don't know if you've seen it. That other Ryan Reynolds film with uh, Denzel Washington called Safe, Safe House. House. Yeah, I have seen that movie. It's definitely. It kind of, yeah. It feels like a rehash of that kind of thing but I actually like that movie though no yeah, it was it was decent I mean listen <laughs> is this movie a crime against humanity absolutely not could you watch it and enjoy it without a doubt but don't run to the theater to see it yeah you know? we had screening passes from last week that we missed out on so they gave us free passes so we didn't pay for this movie yeah and, we're, and that probably made it a little bit better than <laughs> if we yeah. would have shelled out money for this one but <laughs> Uh, I mean, at least when I came out of the theater, I said, listen, it was better than King Arthur. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. It was less, it was just, it's just <laughs> generic. If one word to describe it, generic with some cool action scenes sprinkled in. And, and you know. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, yeah. He's always, he's always pleasant. <laughs> Honestly, one of my favorite characters in this movie is Selma Hayek's character. She's great. She's not in it much, but she's just, man, she's just so, even if she's a badass or she's, just, she's always likable, you know? She is. She always has a very likable character. She's got like a charm to her, you know? We even were saying like, I even like her in Adam Sandler's movies. Yeah, like even when she has that like, da -da 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 Oh, and she's spewing out Spanish faster than I can even think. It's, think. <laughs> it's great, it's I love it. It's pretty funny. And, and I really liked her character. Yeah, and I enjoyed her little story. Gary Oldman is in this movie. 
Yeah, it's such a waste of it. And yes, a hundred percent. That's where I was going. Yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> no, yeah, no, you could say it. Okay, Gary Oldman's a yeah. You know, as he's you guys a know, fantastic. That actor. guy's a fantastic actor, and he's very good in this. In you know, they should have took advantage more of having a guy like Gary Oldman in this movie. Yeah, I I wasn't really crazy about his character per se, though. I mean, no. the concept was fairly interesting, but... It was I, kind of just a generic bad guy. Yeah, he was just a bad guy. And Gary Oldman has much many more layers to him than that, but... It's okay. Listen, listen this movie, it's, it seems like we're bashing it, but I had a, I had an yeah. enjoyable time with it. I really do wish it was like a half an hour shorter. Yeah, oh uh, yeah. It was about two hours long, which... Yeah, I mean, if you want to stick with two hours of Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson just screaming at each other for two hours, I mean, if you could deal with that. There's only so <laughs> many mother we can listen to. I know. To. Like, it, all right, we know he says it. Oh, yeah, I mean, this isn't our first rodeo with no, Sam Jackson. But, but I feel like it was definitely on another level here. You it's know? definitely, we're like, all right, we know that you can do yeah. this and we know that you like this. It was word. like the running gag, you know? Yeah. I was like. So, eh, it is what yeah. it is. All right. We'll rate, we'll rate this thing. This movie's not even worth talking about for this long. But uh, oh, it's not nah, terrible. It's not I'm, I think I'm gonna give this a B, a B minus. You know what? I was in my head. I was going in the theater. I was like B minus, C plus. Uh, I'm gonna go B minus for the fact of I really did enjoy the last act of this movie. Mm -hmm. Like there were some action sequences that drag that not dragged on. That's a bad word, but. It, they were very, like, it was very long, but it was definitely had many layers to it and it was very entertaining. So, the, for the final action set piece, I will say is it, at C, plus it brings it up to a B minus for me. Yeah, I agree. I think that the, the end of the movie kind of yeah. picked it up a little bit, it got you back in the movie if yeah. you decided to drift off. Yeah, which I was constantly. <laughs> but, um,. So yeah, guys, that is our review of The Hitman's Bodyguard. As always, thank you for watching, and hang on a sec, because we just want to give a nice shout out yes. to our first three Patreons. How nuts is that? Which is That we posted that insane. yesterday, and we have people supporting us already. It's just, it's insane. It's just, we completely appreciate every single one of you, and thank you so much. We want to give a shout out to Blu-ray D. Yes. Justin Peterson and Mark Herrera. Mark Herrera was the first one. Yes. He was numero uno. Yes, so, so thank you so freaking much. Thank you so much. To the three of you. And uh, obviously you're going to be getting shout outs on our social media. Oh, yeah. So. And honestly, it just, you know, it gives us a reason to like go on in the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> but um, we love doing this, obviously. Yeah. So. But, um, <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks again for watching. And be on the lookout for more awesome reviews and videos. See you guys later. See you.